again we are back on Ekman Society Talk Train of Thought with a series of an episodes on personality uh, with uh, Mrs. Aditi Gupta. It's an interesting insight so what we are getting as far as the personality which are concerned. Like normally it's said like catch them young like you know when we talk in terms of developing the child's personality and we need to catch uh, them young and what is the role of a parent in the overall uh, personality development of a kid's like let's understand from Aditi Gupta ma'am uh, welcome to this show Thank once you so again much. and many a times when we talk in terms of a kids which are there like how the parent should handle uh, the kids as for the personality aspects which are concerned so um, i have two kids and of course the age group is very different you know one is like 3 year old and yeah. one is like 10 year old mm-hmm. so i have to find a mid way <laughs> to actually balance it balance both, both balance them, yeah. both of them um uh, but i have been in teaching and i have uh, been with kids at different different levels and so i understand that parents a lot of times they struggle mm-hmm. and i try to keep it very simple i know there are ample books written on parenting uh me and my husband keep contemplating okay how do we train our child how do we do that but if i sit down what i understand the main elements is one is the biggest happiest portion of your childhood is that my parent is listening to you yeah. okay yeah. so i feel being an active listener is the a part and the a one part of the being a parent okay yeah. because we often tend to tell the pa- tell the kids to do what we want to correct. but we don't try to hear them correct like in earlier episodes we do say that there is a lot of non verbal communication body language is expression is having correct. how does a child you know cry when the child is hungry for correct. milk or food and all correct. so there correct. is a lot of things in the initial 3 years that you may try to understand Mm-hmm. So one is the listening part again well, again con- constantly you know so be an active listener what mm-hmm. the child is trying to convey by mm-hmm. actions by words by expressions and all Correct. and what is it that you want to teach is the primary thing that okay when i speak you are listening you, whenever you are trying to communicate to me i am listening and that mm-hmm. is something which builds more trust between the parent and the child right. the other is behave right Mm-hmm. you yourself need to behave right correct we end up getting yes even i end up getting angry i end up getting yelling and all so it used to happen at one point of time that i used to get you know why are you not studying why are you not completing homework mm-hmm. but when i changed into my behavior itself as a parent as a mom okay let me show let me let's sit and do it together mm-hmm. some kind of words when you use and when you yourself behave right with the child mm-hmm. it becomes little more you know confident that okay the child is listening and will behave according to what you are also sharing because correct it is contagious correct. lot of times we say oh he is throwing an attitude that means he is brought up like that he is brought up like correct correct why do you say that you know brought up word is because mm-hmm. the way the household or the kind of actions that you are communicating the to the child also mm-hmm. so definitely you know behave right yourself as a parent mm-hmm. and bring up right correct after few years now a lot of kids are moving abroad moving and they will always remember how my parents have behaved with me i always remember how you know i have got scolding how i have been loved how i have been pampered but correct. what is the important element sometimes mm-hmm. we get angry so much that the child will always only remember that portion of the beautiful the life and yes. like all that and then that projects in the outer world because you are not internally happy something is hurting you correct that is the reason why the b part of you know uh, being with the child and developing the personality is behave right yourself mm-hmm. and bring up right by yourself itself so that okay. is something because they are constantly observing us correct and they also aditi many times the parents have got a tendency of uh, comparing with the others like so what you see about that so the a is active listening the b is re- you know behave right and c is communicate wise Mm-hmm. where you are comparing the child to another child or when you are comparing situations scenarios oh how can she get good a good scores she is doing so many things why are you not doing why yeah. uh, so the thing is that you communicate wise don't compare kids to kids mm-hmm. uh, i think we as an adult also don't like to you know compare each other or something you have yeah. unique personality your child also has unique personality mm-hmm. would you like 
be to be compared with your colleague who may be doing well who may not be doing well correct we tend to feel superior if we are doing very well correct but at the same position if you are not doing very well and we the colleague is doing very well correct. you don't tend to like it Correct. If we don't like it, how the child is going to accept Correct. it? Correct. So when you are nurturing the mind, make sure that you know you communicate wise. I am not saying about right or wrong. Yes, mm-hmm. there might be you know times when you have to compare, but give them the right example. Mm-hmm. Give them the right example in terms of you are comparing, but saying that probably she was revising also. That's the reason why they got good scores. So let's work on the revision part. Or right. probably they are relooking in the corporate world. They are relooking. You know, it is always you relook at the. Uh, problem areas mm-hmm. and then find solutions find the solution for them so try to develop them to look at the problem area and mm-hmm. how to develop the solutions right correct, so that correct. is how i think this is something which and and this is something which helps the child also to develop the personality also act as per the consciousness that is what is expected out of that child in mm-hmm. the outer world also because ghar right. mein lot of times in house everything is fine Correct, correct. Right, everything is fine. You let go things, but mm-hmm. they don't know how their acceptability would be in the outer world. The outer so these world. are the elements which you know parents need to develop and put an effort, slowly, slowly nurturing them towards the assertive personality, which is they are informed. They are you know uh, so th- there's you know three types of you know uh, you can actually develop children personalities or you can identify them. They mm-hmm. either are passive. which is they are bored they hide they are like just undercover they are slow they don't want to share things mm-hmm. uh, which is an alarming uh, way to understand that why is the child not sharing to me or sharing. why is like not communicating to mm-hmm. even the small child or why is it running to someone else when i enter or something okay. assertive is like you inform you take full control of situation Uh, for an example the child comes to home says ki okay i have in homework let's do it okay mm-hmm. exchanges information and aggressive is i don't want to do it it's like very much frustrated it's and stubborn to some yes so that. these are not the good elements to develop a personality of a child mm-hmm. so it would be more on the assertive side which you need to understand okay. and uh, the again the golden words emphasize on golden words lot of people feel that okay saying thank you please to your own parents or your own child mm-hmm. why are we doing such a show off mm-hmm. no but in a global scenario in a global research they are called golden words for a reason mm-hmm. because they need to also develop the caring and sharing approach mm-hmm. they also need to understand how empathetic they are there towards mm-hmm. other people so mm-hmm. please Uh, thank you you're welcome you know caring sharing all these words the golden word dic- dictionary should be there and correct. should be constantly used by even parents to nurture the child in the right direction correct yes i uh, think uh, it's an excellent insight given for the parents like how to nurture their uh, child's overall personality and in fact this should uh, uh, she spoke in terms of an active listener and uh, uh, behave right and also in terms of and uh, how one needs to communicate and also golden words uh, i'm sure this is going to be handy for most of and parents and i'm sure if they listen if you are listening to mrs aditi gupta on this tiktok ek bol soch ki i'm sure this is uh, they are going to make the base foundation of a child very strong and that's the culture what they're going to carry once they are the, making their professional career at the corporate place i'm sure it's a great insights of personality what we're getting from aditi gupta on tiktok ek bol soch ki do go to www.tiktok.net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can ma'am thanks a lot for enlightening our parents as far as a uh, child so over personality development uh, development which is concerned that parents have to be a good listener yes. and uh, <laughs> the right behavior should be there from their side and uh, refrain from comparison uh, for uh, one child with another child as such thank you very much for valuable so insights thanks, thanks a lot, lot.